Hey, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a quiz that you can have in an e-learning course or you can make it stand alone. And to do that, I'm going to be using iSpring Suite. If you don't have iSpring Suite, that's okay. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can go out check it out, get a free trial. And by the way, I would like to thank iSpring for sponsoring this video today. Now let's get to it. I'm here in PowerPoint where I am creating a course on sales training and I want to add a quiz to it. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and you see I've got a summary slide and then I'm going to go into my quiz. So to add a quiz to my course, uh, I'm going to be in the iSpring Suite 11 tab here, and I'm simply going to go up and click on Quiz. That is going to open up the iSpring Quiz Maker, and then I can go over here to Create, and I actually have an option here. I can do a survey or a graded quiz. In this case, I'm going to click on Graded Quiz. Now, when I first go in here, of course, it's going to say it has no questions, so what do we need to do? We need to add some new questions and that's really easy. I'm just going to go right up here to question, click here, and you'll see I have several different options for the type of question I want to create. So I can do, you know, the standard multiple choice, but then I also have all these other kind of fun options like matching or sequences or drag and drop. So there's a lot of cool things that I can add to my quiz. Now I'm going to keep it simple right now and I'm going to go ahead and select multiple choice. Right now I'm in form view and this is where I am going to enter my questions, my answers, and then I also have some other options which I'm going to show you. First I'll go ahead and type in my question. And then I've added my answer choices here. Now, if I wanted to, I have got three now. If I wanted to, I could keep adding more just by clicking the next space and adding more, but I'll leave it at three for now. And then what I'll do is indicate the correct choice by clicking in that circle next to it because the right answer for this one is rapport. Something I want to point out with the question too is over here to the right, you'll notice I can add a picture, I can add a video or I can add an audio clip. So these are some ways I could, you know, really kind of have fun with the questions. So maybe I say, listen to the audio clip and then answer this question. And then I, you know, have my question and my answers. So you can add multimedia here and then notice this one. Notice when I hover over an answer choice, I also have this option to add a picture. So you can get really creative with your quiz questions. Some other things I want to point out here in the form view are over here on the right, your slide options. You know, you've got question type, which of course we, we've picked graded. You could have a survey. Um, you've got your feedback options. Sometimes you may want to have feedback after the person answers a question, but then maybe sometimes you don't. So I can go here, I can hit none and there's no feedback. Um, or I could also give feedback by choice. Maybe I want different feedback depending on which answer they give. So I can actually do that here as well. I'll leave it at result. And you have similar options with the branching and the score. So I could get a score for the overall result or I could maybe split up the points. I'll keep that at result. And then I also am able to say how many times the person can attempt it. I can make it unlimited or I can give them a number of attempts. I could also give them a time limit. And if I wanted to, I could shuffle the answers or maybe I don't want to shuffle them and I can uncheck that. If I do have feedback included, then down here where it says correct and incorrect, I can actually go in and make it edits to what it says when a person gets a question right or wrong. Now, if I want to see what this is going to look like for the learner, I'm going to click on slide view. And right now there's really nothing except the words and the answers. It's pretty darn boring. Now, luckily I have a lot of options to make this more interesting. If I go up here to design, for example, there are different themes I can go and choose from. Um, I can also go here to insert and I've got some options here. I can insert 
pictures, I can insert shapes, text boxes, video, audio. And if I have access to the content library, I can add things like backgrounds. So maybe I'll pick one of these. And maybe I wanna add a character. Of course, now it's hard to read this. So maybe I wanna add a shape to put behind that. But as you can see, you can get really creative with this and, and make it look the way you want it to look, which is really nice. And then we also have the results slide and there are different things you can do for the results slide. So again, you know, here in slide view or I can be in form view for it. You can change the look. I can add things to it. I can change what it says if I go back to, well, I could do it here or I could go in form view and I could say, what is it gonna say if they pass the quiz? What will it say if they fail the quiz? I could add a sound if I wanted to. Maybe I add a sad trombone sound there or you know some fanfare trumpets if they get everything right, if they did well. Um, and then I have these options to the side. So um, I'm gonna go back to slide view. You know, I can toggle these on or off, show or don't show the user's score, the passing score. Um, I can allow them to review it or not. If I take that away, that removes that button. I can give them an option for a report. And then I can also allow them to retry the quiz. And same thing with quiz failed. I can go onto the quiz failed and um, have those options. And then I can go in and preview it if I want to. So now I can kind of see how it's gonna work. If I answer the, let's say I answer the wrong answer and submit, and it gives me that feedback, and then I view results, and I can see what happens there. Um, or, you know, again, I could go in and test it and see what happens when I get everything right. So you can test it out in preview, and then when you've got everything set up the way you want, you can click on save and return to course. And then it's gonna put it as a placeholder here on the slide. If I need to edit it, it's very easy. I'm just gonna go back to this slide, click on quiz, and it will allow me to make any edits that I wanna make. And you'll see when you preview the whole course now, I'll preview from this slide. And I just wanna show how it integrates with all the other PowerPoint. So like this is the slide built in PowerPoint, and then I hit next, and it goes to the quiz that I built in QuizMaker. So it's very seamless, it's very cool. And then, of course, as I mentioned, you can also create these quizzes outside of PowerPoint. And let me just show you that real quick. For that, I'm just gonna go into my apps and to iSpring Suite, and I'll go down to iSpring QuizMaker, and you see how I can open this separately from PowerPoint. And I can go in, create the graded quiz, create a survey, um, or I can open maybe a recent quiz that I've already created. Let me just do that real quick. And you'll notice that when I do it within iSpring QuizMaker outside of PowerPoint, I now have this publish button here. So I can publish, and I can publish it to my computer, I can publish it to a Word document if I want. And then of course, the really nice thing would be if I have a learning management system and I just wanted to have a standalone quiz, I could create the quiz in QuizMaker, put it out on my learning management system, and then that way I can track how people do on that quiz. Uh, and then in addition to that, I do have these other options for iSpring Space and iSpring Learn if you happen to have either one of those. The iSpring QuizMaker is just one of the many tools that you get with the overall iSpring Suite. If you wanna see some more of the features and functionality of iSpring Suite, then you're gonna to wanna to check out this video next.